Hey everybody, it's the fifth day. My name is Tina and this is a 20 day challenge awesome web. And today we will be looking more into the testing. We will check how your web page is looking from the point of view of the heat map, scroll map, and we will also uh, do some recordings so you know what your users are doing on your web page. I hope that also today you have this time between 15 to 30 minutes for your web page uh, because you will need them. And as I mentioned before, we will be looking into some maps. So what they are about. The heat maps are actually showing you where your users are clicking. If they are clicking on the spots, you want them to click. In the scroll maps on the other side, you see if the users are scrolling your page down, if they are going down. Because sometimes it happens that you have some nice content which you want to show to your users a little below. But what happens is that your users maybe don't go that deep. They just click on the next page. So let's check if this is not happening. And the last part is about the recordings. Time to time is good to do recordings and check what the specific users are doing on your web page, how fast they are moving, what, what they are thinking if they are moving, why they are going to this page and not this page. Of course, they are not telling it to you, but you can see it and observe it from their behaviors on your web page. So let's check this out. I will show you more on my laptop. So I'm sure that there are many tools on the market you can use for this purpose, but I will just show you three of them uh, which I found most useful or handy, let's say. Uh, the first one is uh, Hotjar, uh, which I found very, very user-friendly. Uh, there is some tryout for free, so you can try it out. Check that out on hotjar.com. Another one is Smartlook. You can check that one on smartlook.com. Uh, it also has some uh, free account in the beginning. And it's also very, very user friendly. It's modern design and uh, you will be very easily oriented in there. And uh, last but not least is for me Yandex Metrica. Yandex Metrica is uh, a little more complicated, I would say. Uh, but on the other hand, it's 100% for free. So let's check it out more how it looks like inside. So I will show you how does it look like inside of Yandex Metrica right now. So this is actually one of our clients and uh, you can see here that there are also some dashboard with some other data, but let's focus right now on uh, uh, heat maps. So here are the heat maps, link map, click map, scroll map. So let's see the click map. When you will be registering for, uh, for instance, Yandex Metrica in here, you will actually need uh, the help of your web developers because uh, it will uh, give you a piece of code which you will actually need to put directly on your web page. Otherwise, you won't be able to see these heat maps or the recordings itself. So here you can see uh, the heat map, how people are clicking. So you can see that the most of the people are clicking on this and this button or button on the menu part. But what I wanted to show you, especially with this heat map, is the fact that uh, when we tested out with the heat maps, the whole project, we found out that the people are actually trying to click on these icons, but they were not clickable. Uh, they were not able to click through on some other pages. So thanks to the heat map, we figure out this problem, let's say, and we actually managed to make them clickable and now the people uh, are able to click through the icon and continue on the on the next page another interesting mode in here are the scroll maps because here you can see how much are the people scrolling or not here you can see also the bar and on this page you can actually see that we are not getting to the blue color so the people are actually quite scrolling on this page which is not that usual. Um, so if the people will be not scrolling that much, it will be bluish in here. 
or generally in here. And the last but not least are the session replay, which you can see in uh, here, or we can call it the uh, user recordings. Anyway, in here, uh, you can see all your users which are recorded. And you can see from which browser and which country they were uh, browsing on your web page. Here's the date and the time they were visiting your web page and the length, how much time they spent on the web page. So let's check, for example, this one. As I said previously, index metrica is for free. And that might be also the reason why the loading is a little longer than I would imagine. Yeah, and look at that. Someone was checking it actually from the mobile device. So let's see what they were doing. So here he was going down. He was searching something on the home page. And it looks like that the person didn't found it. Maybe the contact information. Mm -hmm. So he's going uh, back to the menu and going to the page contact. So most probably this person was directly searching for a phone number, email contact, or maybe the address, which is actually the goal of this web page because uh, this uh, company is doing B2B business. So the goal of the web page is actually to get in touch with their potential customers. Okay, so uh, this our person found his or hers information, what he or she needed. And then it looks like that he clicked uh, back on the browser, back to the homepage and he left. And actually, if you will just see few more of the recordings, uh, such as this one, I don't know, maybe 10, 20, or maybe even 50 of them, you will get a better idea what the users are doing on your web page, how they are behaving and maybe where they are having some obstacles. Well, based on thanks to this information you just got from the tools, you are able to make some changes on your web page and make the journey of your users much, much easier. And thanks to that, your users will spend more time on your web page. There is a higher possibility that they will buy your product or just send you an inquiry. So this all is actually bringing you more results, more business results. So just do it and enjoy a better business. I showed you a few of the heat maps, scroll maps and recordings you can use. Uh, you can find the links below the video. So make sure you check that out. And if you enjoyed the video, I hope you did. And I hope you learned something. Uh, give a thumb up, subscribe if you didn't already, and I will see you tomorrow.